Let's learn what are regular and irregular polygons. What is the difference between the two? Here we have some figures, a quadrilateral, a square, a rectangle, a parallelogram, and a rhombus. And then on the other slides, we have pentagon, we have hexagon, and we have scalene triangle, an equilateral triangle, and an isosceles triangle. So regular polygons are those polygons which are equiangular, equiangular, it means all their internal angles are equal to each other or the same value or measurement and they are equilateral, equilateral, that is all their sides, all their sides are equal in measurement or equal in size. So in this quadrilateral, we can clearly see that not all sides are equal, right? It's a simple quadrilateral. So this is not a regular polygon, it's, a, it's an irregular polygon, irregular. Okay, next one is a square. We know that in a square, all the sides are equal to each other and all the angles, internal angles are at the right angle. So this is equiangular as well as equilateral. Therefore, square is regular. This is a rectangle. We know that in a rectangle, opposite sides are equal to each other and parallel. And all the angles, internal angles are at 90 degrees. Right? But not all the sides are equal to each other. Yes, it is equiangular because all the internal angles are at right angle, but it is not an equilateral because not all sides are equal. Only this length is equal and the breadth is equal, but not all sides are equal. In this case, we have a parallelogram. We know that in a parallelogram, opposite sides are equal to each other in parallel and in this case, this will be equal to this one and parallel, but not all angles are equal to each other. Angles are not equal to each other. So neither it is an equiangular because internal angles are not equal to each other and neither it is, uh, it is an equilateral because all the sides are not equal to each other. Only opposite sides are equal to each other. Okay, now this is a, so this is a, an irregular polygon, it's also irregular, this is a rhombus, in rhombus all the sides are equal to each other and the opposite sides are parallel to each other, so it is an equilateral polygon but all angles are not equal to each other angles internal angles are not equal to each other therefore it is not equiangular therefore it is an irregular polygon in this figure we have a hexagon we have a hexagon and in this hexagon all the sides are equal to each other it's already given to us that all the sides are equal to each other. Since all the sides are equal to each other and it is a hexagon, therefore it will be a regular hexagon. It will be a regular hexagon. And all the internal angles, since it's a regular hexagon, therefore all the internal angles are equal to each other and the value is 120 degrees all the angles are at 120 degree, right? So it's a regular hexagon. Now when it comes to a triangle, if it is a scalene triangle, then of course it cannot be equilateral because since all the sides are not equal to each other, therefore it cannot be equilateral. Therefore it, the first condition itself fails. This is not a regular polygon, it is irregular.
this is an equilateral triangle. In an equilateral triangle, all the sides are equal to each other. We know this. And all the internal angles are at 60 degrees. Right? So, in an equilateral triangle, all the sides are equal to each other. All the internal angles are at 60 degrees. Therefore, yes, an equilateral triangle is a regular polygon. Because it is equilateral as well as uh, it is equiangular. In isosceles triangle, we know that two pairs of adjacent sides, one pair of adjacent sides is equal to each other, but third pair is not equal, right? So, sorry, the third side is not equal. So, only two sides are equal to each other, but the third side is not equal. Therefore, it is not equilateral. It is not equilateral. So, one condition fails. Therefore, this is irregular. Irregular. 